It's time to open my present from Ruth. Oh. I bet you can't guess what this is. I'll tell you. It's a beautiful heavy duty large H-frame easel that has the capacity to hold canvases up to 78 inches high that's 6 feet 6 inches high and uh, up to 35 pounds in weight oh my word I'm so excited to start doing some big canvas work so let's not mess around let's get this open and assembled and we'll take a look when it's assembled Hello guys, so one thing I always do when I receive packages is look at the state of the package. This one looked like it had been opened before and resealed. It was a really messy tape job. So a little concerned about whether it's been opened before and any parts missing uh, or damaged. So I always take photographs for my record just in case you have to return something and then you've got to prove that that's how you received it etc that's the inside of the box showing everything first job take everything out of the packets the wrap in the box and lay them out make sure everything is as it should be that's the bag of fittings, a screwdriver that's included and all the parts checked, everything's there so let's get on with assembler Ooh. so the first stage number one is to assemble the main frame of the easel and uh, attached to the bottom of that part number five is the hinge block that fits to the base there it is all assembled everything comes really well and clearly defined with numbers and letters the wooden parts are numbered as you can see they're labeled number five that part and the brass fittings and dowels are given a letter um, notification so you can separate them moving on to assembly step two is to put the guide rails in place for the slide uh, number three there showed you the slide there it is assembled. I've just dropped the slide in there. I haven't fitted it in place. Before you do fit it in place, you need to put these clamp blocks in. They're brass fittings that you just press into the holes. And what they do is when the form screw on the back applies force to that, it spreads the force over a larger area. So you get a better clamping um, a result instead of the form screw pressing onto the back of the wood. And there's a form screw in place applying pressure to that clamp plate that's holding the slide in place assembly step number four is assembling the base and putting that into situation assemble one side first as a dowel and a couple of screws and then do the other side if you try to put the dowels in on both sides and assemble those in place you're going to have trouble trying to fit dowels in over areas there's the base all assembled and fitted to the H frame. The next stage, stage five, is to put those angled sliding supports in place, part number seven. And they allow your easel to tilt backwards and forwards from the vertical to an angle. There, there they are in place with the form screws to clamp them, set the angle at what you want on your easel. Assembly number six is to put in the uh, base for the canvas, the base support. That's also a tray for dropping in some brushes, paints, whatever you want to put in there. And again, before you drop that over the sliding mechanism, you've got to put two of those brass clamp plates into position. There they are fitted. They're just pressing. And they will spread the force, evenly distribute the clamping force over the slide to hold the tray in place. And there you can see the two form screws in place holding that tray onto the slide. 
and that's a close up of those thumb screws. It's simple assembly, it's really straightforward, it took me 25-30 minutes max. The last stage is to assemble the top clamp for the uh, canvas that drops down onto the uh, top of the canvas. And again there's a clamping plate in there, brass clamping plate. So just push that into the holes before you slide that block that's numbered one over the slide assembler. And again, that's going to spread the clamping force over a, a larger surface area. Next slide, you can see that top clamp for the uh, for the canvas is in place and clamped onto the slide using the thumb screw. And that's it. Simple. That easel is already in 30 sec 30 minutes. There, I've got one of my new large canvases, a gesso board. 24 by 36 inches that's all ready and I just can't wait to get onto that and start doing some large scale paintings we did have an extra part here for part number four which is what the inch block fits to onto the H frame to attach it to the frame now if you're interested in an easel like this if you're a starter artist like me this is available on Amazon for $139.95 and they have a $10 off coupon going at the moment. It's made by Meaden and it's Walnut Large H-Frame Studio Easel. But if you want something a, little, something a little more spectacular than the following of my two favourite easels, this one's called the Best Classic Santa Fe 2. This is from dickblick.com. It's $1,064.09. It has all winches on there. It's all mechanically operated, so there's no uh, manual sliding and clamping. This is all uh, automated, mechanic, mechanized. And the next one, the Maybef RTC LM02 Plus. It's only $2,305. Again, it's got winches on it. And this is a large, nice, wide easel bit very expensive I don't know maybe one day when I've sold a lot of paintings and prints I can get myself one of these but until then guys thanks for watching